Hola amigos and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we're going to do, so the look we're going to be doing today will be, um, as you could kind of tell, we're going to do um, Frida Kahlo inspired makeup look. So this is my version of a Frida Kahlo and um, I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, I actually did this look a couple of months ago and I love, love, loved it that I had to recreate it here in the video because it came out so good. But um, I already went ahead and did my eyebrows. It just takes too long for me to do them so I just decided to do it off camera. Um, I would rock this any day. I have definitely going out like this except the flowers and the makeup and trust me so that's why I wanted to do something a little bit more wearable so like I mentioned earlier this is my interpretation or my yeah my interpretation of a free that look would be so this will be the look I will be recreating for you guys just because like I said before I really 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 love how it came up with okay so uh, we're gonna start by priming our um, our eyes and we're gonna be using the MAC soft ochre ochre okay and uh, we're gonna be using this morphe brush this is my go-to brush to put um eye primer so we're just gonna grab and um this primer is very pigmented so you really have to start by applying just a little bit like you could actually, you could see there. Now, if you don't have an eye primer, you could definitely, definitely use um, concealer. But I feel in order for this shadows to pop, you definitely need uh, a very, you need a very good eye primer. And because you want your eyeshadow to last, you need it too. So you you want that. But if you don't have an eye primer, you could just use the concealer. This is the like I mentioned. This is the Patrick Star, uh, in collaboration with a uh, Mac. And this and this uh, eyeshadow palette, it's a uh, play with me. So this is how she looks in the back. Now, the colors are just to die for. They're beautiful. Um, so we're gonna start with um, this shade right here. It doesn't have a name, but we're gonna use that for our um, transition kind of crisp color. And I'm gonna be grabbing this um, this brush. Um, doesn't have a name, but this one's this was from an Ipsy bag. I believe it was last last month, January yes i love this color this is like a very mobby pink dusty pink one of my favorite colors too in clothing uh but i don't i don't mind it in 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 here so now that you like how your transition color is we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna get another color. So next thing what we're gonna do, we're gonna use this Morphe Morphe 5 M513 and we're gonna go ahead and grab this shade right here, this pink, pretty cute. And we're gonna do it right on our crease, right here. So we're just gonna blend that with our transition color. So just blend it. We're gonna grab this um, brush again, the one we use our transition just to blend the two of them together. That way we don't have any harsh lines because we don't want that. We need one 
very very blended eye okay now that we have this uh, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do all over the lid we're gonna do this blue blue shadow and I'm gonna be grabbing this Morphe Morphe brush this is the M421 so I'm actually gonna grab some setting spray because we need this blue eyeshadow to be very very pigmented and I feel like when you put the spray it just gives you that full pigment that we're looking for let's see all over the lid Ooh. Seen this? Oh, this is this is beautiful. So we're gonna do it all over the lid. We're gonna grab this um Morphe M this Morphe brush. This is the M518 and we're just going to use this to blend all three colors. I'm not going to grab anything just like that. That way we, we don't, it doesn't look, we don't have a harsh line between all the colors because that's not cute. Okay, so blending this blue shadow with the other colors yes come on pigment okay so we're gonna be uh, we're gonna grab this shadow and we're just gonna put a little bit of the blue and we're just gonna blend because I want a very similar I, I want a very blended look so we're just gonna go ahead and blend I like how it looks um, I'm just gonna put a little bit more of the um of the blue shadow on the lid just because we were blending a lot and I feel like the pigment just went away okay using fixed blood so we're just gonna go ahead and oh my god If I show you, oh, this is just, this is a dream. ahead and just clean whatever um I have uh, I have a little fallout really this eyeshadow uh, palette really this uh, palette doesn't really have any type of fallout but I'll just want to clean just the Okay, so I'm just going to get a little bit close to the camera so you guys could see how this looks. I love it. 
So next step, we're going to go ahead and um, we're going to do the bottom in a second. First of all, we're going to go ahead and um, we're going to use some primer. So I do have a um, combination skin. Pretty much my T-zone, it's very oily and everything else is dry. So for my T-zone, we're going to use this pore, the pore professional by um, Benefit. Because I have dry patches, uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, I got this new e.l.f. It's called Glow. Uh, it's called Glow radiant moisturizer um, I need this because um, I have um, here in New York it's very very cold and um, I find like my my skin gets very dry during the cold weather so I could barely wear uh, foundation because I have these dry patches all over my face and I want to go ahead and try this hopefully it's good I this actually if you could if you guys see if I move it looks it has that natural glow like my skin looks glowy dewy not dewy it looks more like a soft natural glow which I like I'm not mad about that so um, we're gonna like I like I mentioned uh we're gonna go uh we're gonna color correct and we're gonna use this NYX um it's just um color corrector in orange I only I don't color correct all the time I only do it when I'm really like one and a half when I do full glam so once we color correct let me see okay try to blend that How we looking cute for foundation we're gonna use my go-to foundation like when I tell you it's my go-to I had to go pick up another one because I run out of it I think this is the third time I'm using this foundation it is so hard to find the perfect foundation but I think I found mine so far um, all I've been using has been this um, Too Faced this is the Too Faced Born This Way foundation and I'm actually in shade Warm Beige. So I definitely, if you have a combination skin and you have texture, this foundation, will, will you will love this foundation. Like I cannot tell you how much um, I like this foundation. yes i like this sponge like i'm always down to try different sponges just because the beauty blender it's it's a little bit up there it's i believe it's around 20 something dollars i got this um i got this sponge at um marshall's for four dollars and it's doing the job so definitely if you're looking for affordable sponges i really recommend this one uh to warm up the face and because i'm looking very plain we're gonna go ahead and use this uh fenty this is uh on the color truffle oh my gosh so guys um I always do this because of my double chin like I don't know what to do with my double chin like this is the only way to really hide it because I need to lose weight anyway so with our same sponge we're gonna go ahead and blend so we're gonna apply some uh, concealer and we're gonna use this Tarte Shade Tape in color medium so before anything creases on me, we're going to go ahead and use uh, and set everything and we're going to use this Fit Me Loose Finish Powder and oh, another thing, I don't bake. So once we set our makeup, we're going to go ahead and uh, 
put a little bronzer uh, my favorite is this uh, physician formula butter bronzer like I cannot explain how much I love this like look at this we're gonna do um, our bottom um, the bottom we're gonna do the eyeshadow we're gonna do the bottom now I'm thinking I'm just gonna do um, let me let me look at the let me look at the original photo I don't remember what I put so we're gonna go ahead and do a little bit of pink and I'm gonna do the blue I'm gonna pop some eyelashes and off camera and I'll be right back so we're back I already have the lashes so for the lips we're actually gonna go ahead and we're gonna use the um, still with the collection the Patrick star um, I don't know if you're able to see it but this is in shade hey boy hey okay so last thing we're gonna do uh, we're going to do um, um, we're gonna do highlighter and the highlighter we're gonna be using today would be um, Bathing Paradise by Morphe I, I love this palette and we're gonna be using this shade right here Mahu this is one of my this is one of my favorite shades uh, for highlighting oh my god if you see it um, last thing we're gonna do is just set our makeup and we're still gonna use this fix plus uh, by Mac um, so guys this is the finished look I hope you guys enjoy it as much as I did I definitely enjoyed this look uh, way too much I definitely enjoyed this look a lot I love Frida Kahlo like Frida Kahlo is one of uh, one of my favorite um, artists um, she's Mexican another thing why to love her she's <laughs> we're Mexicanas las dos I wanted to recreate a look I did uh, a couple of months ago um, and this is the version I did um, for Frida my version of Frida Kahlo so if, uh, I want to create looks that are actually wearable this look I definitely see myself uh, going out like a um, date um, you could actually if you celebrate Halloween you could actually do something very simple for Halloween I know we already passed that but you could definitely use that uh, one thing I wanted to uh, mention is that um, this Patrick Star um, collection I believe it was limited edition but definitely if you're able to find this collection and you really like the colors that are here I would really recommend you recommend it to you because the shadows are very pigmented uh, the blush is beautiful the lipstick is very uh, the lipstick uh, is very pretty like I really love the whole concept of this uh, collection um, uh, there's nothing bad I, I, I'm gonna say about this collection because I really enjoy it I really enjoy um, playing with it um, yeah so um, thank you so much for watching um, I'll be coming up with uh, uh, I'm on, I'll be coming up with new looks so um, let me know what you guys want to see do you guys want to see like a maybe smoky eye or um, I want I, I have another eyeshadow palettes that I want to um, um, make looks with it but um, definitely let me know any come in the comments below uh, what do you guys want to see um, I know thank you so much for clicking to this video uh, as you guys could see today we're making this uh, we're doing this look this is a Frida Kahlo inspired um, makeup 
hair a little bit. I try to do my best. Thank you so much for watching. This was my version of a Frida Kahlo inspired look. I hope you guys enjoy it. Please give me a like subscribe if you guys could share it i would appreciate it and um i'll be coming up next week with a different video um i don't know we'll, we'll uh, i'm trying to see what kind of video i wanted to see you in the next video <laughs>